We have some more Shine Down today, and this is their song called Devour. It was a very interesting mix of energy and emotions. Uh, and before we jump into the video, and you will see what I mean, uh, the format of this is just a little bit different. So this was actually filmed live on my Twitch. And as always, a friendly reminder to please like and subscribe. And with that being said, let's get it. It doesn't seem like they're going into the battle. Okay, um, <sighs> yes, I would say, I was like thinking to myself, I'm like going through a brain catalog. You know how people have brain catalogs. Do you have a brain catalog? I have a brain catalog. Anyways, uh, they have a unique, uh, he has a very unique voice is what I'm trying to say. And I quite like it. Um, and uh, they have a specific kind of sound, and maybe that's because his voice, um, because his voice is unique. Because it's like you know, I've heard other songs of Shine Downs and Shine Downs, Shine Down, and uh, they all kind of have that same. I guess that same kind of vibe in them, and I think it's because of his voice. Um, because it's very particular the way that he sings. Um, it's almost like, it's kind of like this constant, almost like belty raspy sound that he sings to. And I don't, hmm, maybe, maybe I'm not remembering it right, but I feel like he does that for the majority of most of his songs. And you don't really hear kind of like softer vocals from him. And maybe that's why I feel that way about it is because a lot of times that's like his trademark sound. Um, and it's a very nice sound, not saying that it's not a nice sound, but I'm like, have I heard him do like just softer vocals before? Or has it always been kind of like this punchy, raspy, um, almost belty sound in some parts? Interesting. Let's keep watching, actually. I'm going to test that theory. Maybe this song isn't the right one to test it on. There's probably other ones that are probably slower, and he does it in those ones, but I haven't seen those ones yet. So I could be completely wrong, but from the ones that I've seen, it's a very specific sound. Like, if you played this on a radio, you'd be like, shine down. You know? It's like that. It's kind of like when you hear a Queen song, or you hear... Uh, Elton John, or you hear uh, Tom Petty, you can kind of like know who that is. Oh, that's Stevie Nicks. Just by listening to it for like, I don't know, five to ten seconds. You can just be like, unique sound. I know that. Um, okay, let's continue.
Oh my gosh. Damn. <gasps> drummer at the end is like Don Donzo okay um <sighs> those notes he hit I was like damn cause he's like scream belting those notes um and he hits them beautifully uh that whole section where he was basically just like popping around in his range. I was like, dying. Um, two, th that type of song, like it makes me, like if I played that, put headphones on and just like, every song gives you a different kind of feeling. And I feel like if I put that on, it would be one of those songs where I'd want to just get kind of like lost in the frenzy, if that makes sense. Um, if that makes sense. Um, but that's the energy that kind of had to it was like what it was talking about was like sounded dark to me. Um, devour. Um, this is your final hour. Um, and then some of the stuff that they said throughout the verses. But it was but it still had this kind of upbeat uh fast energy to it and so that's why it makes me feel like if i listen to it it would just be in kind of like a frenzied mode of like emotions or something you know what i mean um but that was interesting to see and i um i hope that you enjoyed it uh if you did hit the like button hit the subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you in the next one bye